my eighth grade. So it only took me two months, but I have figured out how to use headphones with a microphone to make a video. So, you know, look at me go. I'm on a roll. Okay, so <clears throat> this is your final language arts assignment for the year. It is the Washington Monument assignment. I have um, made albums, which are sometimes a little small. Um, I have folders of photos for you from the monuments in D.C. I did change some things because we came up with a list of who's going to do what. But then when I started looking back through my pictures, um, I didn't actually take pictures of the Vietnam Memorial because when you're there, it's actually a very solemn and very somber place. And, and I remember now, like, I just didn't feel comfortable taking pictures just out of respect for the people that were there, like, actually like seeing it with their family members and all that kind of stuff, having their name on it. So, um, I did change that around. So I'm going to flip this around here. Here's the list. This is, will be posted on the classroom. Um, so, uh, Ben, you have Martin Luther King, Nathan Lincoln, Caleb Korean, Juliana Washington, Ian, you have Jefferson, Luke, you have World War II. So I will email you all pictures of those monuments so that you can work on that. You don't have to use only my pictures. I just have them. And um, Mr. Norquist sent me some. I have some from Mr. Christopher Ferris when he was there. Like, just I just had a bunch. So um, I put them together and I tried to not get group pictures of whatever class was there. Um, I want you to look up the following things, the creator of the monument, the reason for it, the materials used, because in a lot of cases, this is very symbolic of um, how much money they spent, the time they spent, the reason for the location. Also here, um, look at the way that it's facing because Ian, you have Jefferson. Jefferson is looking in a specific direction for a specific reason. So is Lincoln. Um, and I think Martin Luther King is also make sure you're using proper spelling, grammar, punctuation, all that stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're going to make a brochure. All of the directions are written out in the assignment. I folded a brochure to kind of show you. So like here's the cover. You're going to have a picture in the name of the monument. Here's page one on the inside, the location. If you can find like the Google map, you can put that there, an address, a picture of it, that kind of thing. Um, the middle on the inside, five to seven interesting facts. Use as many, you know, if you can fit seven, have seven. Um, a brief history of the monument. This is going to be who created it, how it was built, why, all that kind of stuff. Woo, sorry. There's my vacation picture. Um, on the back, just three pictures of the monument. And then page five is the sources that you used. So you can use Wikipedia, but these are also national parks. So you can have, like, there's some really good resources out there for that. Um, it is due next Friday, May 22nd. I will take it late up until the 26th with points off. I will not take it past the 26th. It will be a zero after that. Okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to make this like, like you don't have to make it in a paper. You can do it all digitally. You guys are way smarter at all of that stuff than I am. Um, if you want to print out pictures and cut them and paste them and, and handwrite and then just take pictures of this. You can do that as well. I don't care how you do it. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, it will be the Washington Monument assignment where I want you to post this. Okay, have a great week and let me know if you need anything.